Hey everyone, Melanie Ninshinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Got a project for you today with a couple of my past sets from Gina K Designs, Men of Faith and Women of Faith, to show you how you can make a really cool graduation card for your graduate or um, one of your friend or family's graduates in 2020 during the pandemic. So I've got one with a mask or you can do one without. Today I'm just going to be doing the hat because I have in a previous video showing how you can put the mask on that woman of faith. These do have a lot of different, um, different uh, features to them. Um, the Adam's apple on the man, the more delicate features on the woman's profile. But the way that you make these hat and masks, they are the same and then the pieces are just flipped. So because I already have this graduation one for my son with a mask, I'm just going to make him a plain one without a mask. So he has one for posterity without the memories of this. But who could forget, right? Okay, so I have this really cool template that I made up for you. It's free. I've got the PDF linked um, in the description below. So you're going to be able to use that. Uh, I have the pieces cut out already, but the other products that you're going to need, uh, in addition to either this Men of Faith or Women of Faith set, the cardstock I'm using today, I've got some Gina K Pure Luxury. This is four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. That's going to be our top folding A2 size card base. Then I'm going to do just a very basic layout instead of doing the numbers or the stamped numbers. I'm just going to do just that profile image with the cap in the middle. So I've got a piece that is three and a quarter by four and a quarter of you can use the heavy base weight or the layering weight white. This is the heavy base weight, obviously, for the card base. And then I've got a piece of the moonlit fog, and this is four and a half by three and a half, I believe. I'll post all these measurements for you below. So that's just gonna go right there. We've got a tape runner and some foam squares to give that some dimension when we adhere it. Some different options for the cutting. You can either use just some um, sharp scissors or you could use a craft knife or hobby blade. This is the one from the Arteza kit that I've shown in a few other videos. If you're gonna use this hobby blade, then you need to have some kind of self-healing mat underneath it to protect your work surface. Then just something to trace those pieces. So pencil, colored pencil, pen, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna show you some different tips about how to do that, how to keep from having a line on there. Um, the printer paper, obviously. What else? Oh, something to stamp with. So these profiles are going to fit perfectly on a three by four inch block that Gina carries, or you can do it on the four by six. I really recommend, though, if you don't have one yet, to get yourself a Misty. Um, because this is just a solid image, you really want this to be nice and clean and crisp. And it's just going to make you crazy if you have any little bits of dust on here, like I do, or hairs or whatever, to get a really nice solid image. So this is going to allow you to just stamp it over and over again. Also, I want to point out the difference. This was stamped in black on just one time. This was stamped in black two times. You see how much more solid and crisp that is. And the Misty is going to allow you to do that, to do that solid stamping. All right, so let me go ahead. So here is the Misty. I'm going to be using the Mini Misty for that. Then the ink pad that I'm using today, I used black before. My son's um, school colors are blue and gray, so we're going to be using the Stormy Sky, or you can use that Moonlit Fog that coordinates with the cardstock. Both pretty close, though. Um, so I'm going to use that for the silhouette on here. And then I'm going to use just a scrap of the Gina K Pure Luxury Blue Denim for that cap. Um, you might also choose to do like a little eyelet, or excuse me, that's the eyelet, that's the brad, and this is going to give just a little bling on your cards and just some texture and some shine. I'm just going to cut out the little button from my template to do that. So let's get started with our stamping. I think that's all the stuff. Oh, I also have a pen that I want to show you for writing in the card that is going to be coordinated. Okay. So let's begin with our stamping. Let's go ahead and stamp 
that man's face on there. So again, just if you haven't seen the other videos in my playlist for men of faith and women of faith, please check them out. All sorts of faith-based greetings. And then if you do any masculine cards, I was thinking about that. We've got all these different relationships on here, different kind of men that you can send these to in your life. Plus all sorts of words that are gonna work for not just faith-based cards, but proud of you cards. So we can really show the men in our life that respect that they really are hardwired for wanting and desiring from us and my son you know doesn't communicate a lot doesn't you know really like to have heartfelt conversations but I have really been pleased to see that he's got a little stack of cards on his desk and he keeps the ones that say you know I'm so proud of you for being so courageous and patient and kind um, he he's treasuring those so these are some really great words and just a really clean basic font that is going to work for all different kinds of occasions for all different kinds of men and women okay all right and I'll show you that women's card again uh, at the end of the video all right so here we have our let's see where did I put that silhouette right here so we're going to go ahead and your tidy towel too to clean your stamps off with I don't know where that is. It's it's 5.30 in the morning. This is the only time that I have quiet and my office to myself in the day now. I kid you not. All right. So I want to have, instead of having this top corner in the top corner <clears throat> of my mat, because I'm going to have all this covered up by my hat, I'm going to have the neck start down here. Okay. So I'm going to put that right here and that right here. These magnets are just going to hold that paper in place. And I want this right about here. This can also go off the edge of that, but that's just going to make it look really clean and sharp there to the corner. And I'm just creating a space there so it's going to be parallel to the edge of that mat. And it's just going to look really clean and sharp like it's framed. So it's going to kind of be creating the illusion that we have an extra mat on our card. So we're going to go ahead and close that. And you can stamp with this either way, whether you're closing it from left to right, right to left. It's really up to you. I kind of do both ways, just kind of depending on what I'm doing that day, depending on the project, depending on if you know how tired I am. I haven't had my coffee yet. I don't really need coffee, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go in there and get the video done before everybody gets up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close this press all over and if I didn't get it all inked up we can do it again all right let's see how I did okay so I missed some spaces in there in the middle so we're gonna go back and I'm just gonna do this one more time and it is gonna look a lot darker than the cardstock but the ink is going to fade a little bit as it dries so just keep that in mind so I'm gonna really press here in the middle where I missed that and I didn't have my stamp completely clean. There was a little bit of dust on it. I don't have my towel around, but I don't want to start over. So pick this up. Great. All right. And remember, if you've got that coronavirus mask on, you're not going to see a lot of that. But so now I've got a really clean, solid image. And that is all the Misty. It's so easy to do, so affordable if you're making any cards. Just make the investment and say you're going to save so much time and so much cardstock and so much grief about about uh, greetings and things not being perfectly lined up or missing part of an image so get yourself one okay so now what we're going to do so that's all the stamping that i'm going to do on here i might add a greeting i've got that graduation one that is in the set i'm going to put this aside and we'll go ahead and just mount this with the tape on here and I make it back, go back and add my greeting after I, I had graduation on the other one. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. So here is that silhouette. Now let me show you that template. And I have instructions on here for how to use these. So if, if you notice, the man is facing the this way, left. <laughs> and the woman is facing the right. So these are mirror image pieces, but I went ahead and included them both on here. You can cut both of these out, or you can just cut one out if you want, and then you can just flip them over, okay? So this one's got that edge on here, but these are just my template pieces. So I've got, I'm not using the mask, but I've got the cat part, the mortarboard part, I've got the little, um, 
uh, tassel and then I didn't cut out the button yet and then you've got these numbers so 2020 so you can cut these out onto your paper so if you want if you've got a piece of pattern paper or you want to just print them out directly onto colored cardstock because you're making a lot of these be my guest but if you just want to cut out just the the one set of pieces you can flip these over and use it for the man or the woman and I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to lay these on my pattern cardstock. And the nice thing about having that craft knife is that you can just trace it. Rather than having to trace, you can just go around and cut those pieces out without have, even having to trace. So let me, let, me, let me show you both ways. So we could do it where we go around and my my pencil wasn't very sharp so i just grabbed this colored pencil that i knew would show up on my blue cardstock okay so there's that cap and then we could also just trace around this with our craft knife so it's going to carefully go around this and you know you just want these lines straight it's not going to really matter as much as the fit of that cap. I'll turn this because it's just easier for me to cut towards myself. And if you need to tape this down or anything, you could also do that. So I have my light up very high right now. Okay. All right, so there is that mortarboard. So I did that in one step where we can take the scissors and we can just cut this out. So I stamped this so it's facing the opposite way for the man. You think about the curved piece that's around the back of your curved head. So that is the back of it and then the front of it is straighter going up. So I'm just cutting right on the line, but we're not going to see this because it's going to get flipped over. So if you're going to be tracing or cutting these pieces from pattern paper, just have it flipped so that you've got that pattern side up. Okay, so there's our hat. It's going to go just like that. And then the tassel is pretty easy to do without the template piece on there, but I'll go ahead and just do that really quickly. So we'll go ahead, this is kind of just a scrap, and then I just cut kind of like a fringe into it. So my son's graduation, the uh, uh, as for now, and we'll see. I mean, I just I don't trust anything right now if it's going to happen or not because things can get postponed. And when I say trust, I don't mean like I don't trust it, but I'm just I'm waiting. I'm waiting and seeing. But we're going to be having a graduation ceremony in August, so we will look forward to that. Um, but tomorrow they are having a parade around the school, and no one gets to get out of their vehicles. Uh, the teachers are going to be, you know, lined up, I guess, I, you know, not, well, not high, five. I don't even know, but we're supposed to stand across the street and wave. So we will see that that is their lemons to lemonade, uh, approach to doing something for the event tomorrow. So that, that should be interesting. Okay. So we're going to put the cap on and I am going to use, I don't want to use the dimensionals on this because I don't want it to look like it's hovering over his head. It needs to, needs to be fitted on his head. Okay, so you just want to pull that down until it is touching the brow and then just looks like it is cupping the back of the head. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of adhesive on here. And you can make all sorts of other kind of hats for these. It'd be really fun to try to make like a cowboy hat or a baseball cap, all sorts of things that you can do. All right, now this... If you're gonna have it going off the card and you're not putting it in an envelope, like I had over here, 
then you just want to make sure that you're not getting oh, and I need to use my sand eraser on that and I can see that I missed a little bit of it right there so you don't want to have that coming off of the card okay so I'm gonna just center that right about there and this is going to get folded we're just folding that at a diagonal and I have did I put a little line on there no I didn't okay so I'm just twisting it so that it's just going to give it some dimension and then we're going to put the adhesive just right on that little flap right there okay so it's just going to be centered there in the middle and then we have just that little button piece so cut that out real quick to make it look more realistic and this is so tiny up oh, and I could just cut it and it just flipped right off onto the floor so let me do another one all right oh it's right there okay all right so I'm gonna just put just a little bit I would wish I had my connect glue is all dried out now but this would be perfect for putting on this little teeny tiny piece so it just has a little kind of pen-like dispenser and you can do a really fine bead of glue on there. All right, okay, just like that. And then if this is flipping out more than you want, you can just kind of fold that or you can adhere it. I just want it to be free though, like that. Okay, now I'm going to put just some foam squares on the back of this. Actually, let me see. Do I want to do, do a stamped grating on here? Yeah, I, I might want to do something. So hang on. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do just do sun. Although I do need to make one for the boy across the street. So let me, I'll just do graduation on this one as well. Okay. All right. Graduation. About, I really want to do something different actually. I want to do, let's see, let's do We Are, what was We Are Proud? So many words in this. We are We are Shout if you see it. Maybe that's not one of the options. I need to go back and look. All right, I was gonna do graduation. Okay, so grab that Misty again. All right, I guess I, guess I do need my coffee. So I wanna make sure that I'm holding down all the pieces on here so that's not coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna do graduation. And I'm going to do that. Whoop. Take that out. Profile out. And I'm going to do this. This will look good. I'm going to do this in the blue denim. Okay. And then that, yeah. So that's going to bring that, that color down and you've got that nice coordinating ink. And I'll do on your graduation. So let me do. Oh, I had that. And I'm gonna just stack these like that. These pieces are sticky because I haven't haven't used them. Actually, I think I'm gonna do like this. Okay, just like that. And do them in the blue denim again. Take off that graduation. Okay. All right. So add that other ink pad if that's going to be another color that you're going to do. All right. So on your graduation, 
and I'll put something nice about him. So we're gonna, I can give this to the neighbor boy across the street, but if I was gonna give it to my son, kind of pulled an audible there, I, son would be great on here. All right, so then we're gonna put those foam squares on to pop that up and give it some dimension. And then one last thing I wanted to show you that I'm enjoying, I got these Inconic colored fine liners from Arteza and they are great for adding color, doodling, really fine details and writing. So if you really like coordination, these are perfect for coordinating with your cardstock colors that you use when you are writing a greeting or doing the writing on the inside of that card. Because I always like to use black. Now on this one, a, a blue would be good. But when you don't have blue, I hate blue on the inside of a card, no matter what color it is. It's like, why do they even make that blue? Use the black ink. That's just what I like. But even though I love the color blue. All right, so what I would do is, here is this fine liner pack that I have. And I've got a review of this on my channel. If it's not posted yet, I'll make sure it's shared. But so there's 120 colors. They all lift out in these cool trays. And I actually made a chart that I will upload, which has all of the different Gina K cardstock and ink colors that coordinate with these pens. So 123 is a great match for that blue denim. Here it is. And so I can just write something in there. I'll just do it on the back. 2020. And it just coordinates perfectly with that blue on the front. So you can take that outside in. So I hope this is helpful to you. I hope you enjoy this template and you can make just tons of little hats. These would be so fun too on other different little projects like little gift card holders, you know, for those graduation gifts or um, I don't know, treats or, or whatever. So anyway, so here is that card. Let me show you again. Here is the woman of faith. She's got her hair coming out of this. And this actually, I was really delighted to see how much this looks like the profile of the girl that I am giving it to. Um, both these kids grew across, grew across the street from my son and were born within a month of each other. So it's just so sweet. So here's that other one. And you might have seen it on Facebook before. The way that I created this mask is I just, um, you get all those recruiting brochures from colleges. So I just snipped it out, traced it onto that LSU flyer. These numbers I just did uh, freehand and they're not perfect obviously because I was just doing my own cutting. So I do, to point out, I do have those numbers on here. And then I also mentioned on this one, I use the numbers from uh, Emily, um, our, our design team member and illustrator, Emily. I can't even remember her name. She just got remarried. It used to be Schreffer and now it's Loggins. Thank you, Emily Loggins. And I think it's called, what's it called? Celebrate, eat cake. Here it is, let me show you. But anyway, I thought those numbers worked so well. Go like this so you can see it. The numbers worked so well with uh, this more feminine card. So I just spelled that out in the gray also. And then this blessed today and always, this is from my Woman of Faith set, as is the heart that I just cut out. So please enjoy. Um, you know, it might be a little bit late to put, be posting this video um, with graduation cards since that's like happening right now, but it's kind of not really happening now. It's happening later. And I think with like weddings and things, you know, you can send off that graduation card for a long time after the graduation actually happens with your well wishes. That's what I'm doing, especially since the graduation is postponed. Okay, I need to go have some coffee. Thanks for joining me today. Please check out all of my stamps and videos on my channel and over at Gina K Design Stamp TV. Um, thanks for watching today. Have a great day, great week. Stay safe. Love you guys. God bless.